it moving. That don't make sense, then I gotta keep it moving. She ain't helping me build, then I gotta keep it moving. Miss me with the excuses, so I gotta keep it moving. Currency is the motive, so I gotta keep it moving. You don't work, you don't need, so I gotta keep it moving. Goals to achieve, so I gotta keep it moving. There's them and then there's me, so I gotta keep it moving. Born broke, so the mentality's always been there. Different bloodlines, so you know what's never been fair. So my box finally got here. It is airbag time. Let's open it up and see what's inside. When I saw these, they were bare. I did a little touch up on it, not, nothing too big, you know what I'm saying? I got a, a blue, I mean, they got multiple layers of blue, so this will work. But this is just something so it, you know, doesn't rust or anything. Let me know what y'all think. Now we gotta, now we gotta jack this up and get it ready. Okay, so we got it all jacked up, you know what I mean? Ready to go up on jack stands. And we got the jack in the front just in case for a little extra support. So let's get to work. So we went ahead and did both sides and got it off. So we're ready to go. Now I don't think I'll need to take the back ones off just yet or maybe at all. We'll find out. We just have to stick around and find out. Alright, so we got the cardboard laid out. We gotta get in here. And we gotta take these brake calibers off. We gotta take that shock out right there. So we gotta have to unscrew it from up here, and then from the bottom and take that out. Then once we both do that to both sides, we'll take these, unloosen them, and then hit them with a the hammer on both sides so we can get them down at the same time. So, let's get to it. All right, so we went ahead and took off the springs. As you can see right there, we went ahead, went ahead and took off the springs. I took off the, the, the brake calibers right there so it wouldn't be so heavy. Uh, we went ahead and took off the piece that goes right here. There's two pieces. I'll show you, show you to you guys in a little bit. We took them off so we can be able to take that spring off right. And I sprayed that right there with PP Blaster on both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean that with a wire brush to get that you know nice and clean before we start putting in the, the brackets and all that. 
this is the other piece I was telling y'all about. It was this one and then this one right here underneath that we had to take that off. Now, I've never really, I've never done this before. Like I actually put uh, airbags on a, on a low low. Even though I've grown up around it all my life, I've never actually done it because I was, I was knee had a grasshopper when that was going down. And I wasn't gonna put hydraulics on this one because I don't want to mess it up. Like I said, it's too cherry, low mileage. I don't want to mess it up, but airbags is just what I need. Now, I didn't buy everything new. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Let me show y'all. Now I had originally bought a set a while back and it came, like I had everything. The, the, this is a tank. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all this right here, we're gonna get really do all that. It's gonna look nice. Don't even worry about that. But I, I bought the tank. I bought the switches. Bought the airbags. Came with airbags, but uh, since they were used, obviously you could tell that the airbags were messed up. So they were like cracking and all that because the rubber they've been sitting there a while. So brand new. We had to go brand new on those. We had to get the brackets for the Lolo, as you guys saw in the package all right and so that's pretty much all we had to do so i saved some money i saved about i paid about half the price i was going to pay if i would have bought everything brand new but since i had a lot of the working components already just needed the bags and the brackets that's what we went ahead and did now here's all the packaging everything came in like you see you know airbag mounting hardware you know the front bracket hardware Rear, and you know i like the way everything was you know labeled and these are the what they look like after i painted them just a little paint you know what i mean nothing too too major you know try to match the car as much as i can but shout out to bc fabrication out of cali for making this process a whole lot easier like i said everything's labeled everything looked clean all the fabrication was clean you know what i'm saying makes this process that much easier shout out to bc fabrication matter of fact i'll leave their link down below to their website where you could Get your stuff if you need it fabricated for all the, you know low lows airbags all that stuff bc fabrication hit the link down below now this right here is a rear airbag and this is the front airbag as you can see they're two totally different sizes but we're going to work on the back first and then put together the front you know a matter of fact we're going to do the front first and then the back not really matter we're going to make it happen all right so let's get it now this is what goes on the back this right here goes on top this right here is going to go on the bottom and then this right here is going to go right there and then we'll put it all together it's going to look like that now we got our hardware and we got our grease our stl8 always got to make sure this is you know on there together at the same time that way they don't lock up or anything So I'm not gonna be able to get a socket in there, but we're gonna use a wrench. Now it's time for the front, okay? So we got these two on here. You can see it's a big cup, but we don't have any on the bottom. This cup is just gonna sit right there on the bottom like that. So let's put it together. Now to finish them up, put these on here, and we're good to go. So we took the back seat out already because it's time. It's getting close to where we gotta start running the hoses to the front. So we had to take the back seat out, and then they got one of these on each side. But we can't do the other side because the other side has a muffler on it, and there's a plate there, so we're not gonna do that. So we're just gonna run both hoses through here to the front. And then we'll get to the back okay so we got that scraped out i'm gonna clean it up a little bit and then we're gonna start running the hoses to the front this is taking a lot longer than usual we're going on two weeks already but when i got the original package we had the wrong hose they sent us the wrong hose which is 3 8 hose but shout out to bc fabrications because i called them up no issue nothing whatsoever 
they sent it right away i got it i got the new hose within like four or five days shout out to bc fabrication no hassle they understood they got it done so shout out to bc fabrications but right now we got to get the the front parts in get all that stuff together and see we have we have to drill the new holes you'll see the process you'll see the process okay so right here right here we had to cut this out we were going to drill a hole right here but it's a lot of work to try to drill that from the top or the bottom so we just cut this out right here and i'm gonna clean it up this is for the air holes to come through here and it'll just go right down here so it's a lot easier entrance for the air for the air holes so Let's see what we can make happen. Just like that, we cleaned it up, put some primer on it, some paint so it doesn't rust, and we're good to go. I already checked, the air hose does go all the way through. We straight, now let's get the other side done. Okay, now that we got the hole taken off, the cap taken up, we're gonna go ahead and start running our hose to one side, and then run it to the next side. All right, well, I already went ahead and took the springs out of there, and I already went ahead and drilled the hole up inside of there so we can go in here, I gotta pull that, that rug out and drill the holes from the top here so we can put that all thread in there and then put this on there and get everything straightened out, situated, tightened up and we should be about done as far as the back goes. So, let's get going. See, that's where we drilled our hole. We got everything out the trunk. Now we drill out the hole, got the airbag in there, got the hole for the airline. Don't mind the paint, it's just, you know, to keep it from rusting, you know, help prevention. Did the same thing to the other side. As you can see, we got the airbag in there and we'll get all that straightened down in a minute, but we're gonna run the line and then hook up the rack, get that bolted on there, run the wire, and we should be ready to go right after that. All right, so we're down to the final, well, the last stages of it, just, you know, troubleshooting, make sure everything where it needs to go. As you can see, we got the tank, we got everything hooked up. We done checked it to make sure that the, what was it called? That, that the compressors are kicking on and everything. Yeah, everything kicks on and then uh, it stops at 200 PSI. So we, we got that check, we got that checked out and all, all the way good. So now we're just verifying that everything's where it needs to go as far as when we hit the switches. And then we'll start connecting these hoses. And after that, bolt it up and we should be done. Yo, and we're finally to the f hooking up the hoses. Now we're gonna leave these a little long. Reason being is uh, I was down here on the bottom and it looked like it was in a bind. So just in case it, it is, I have enough slack to, to pull it out and cut it and redo it or whatever. Same thing with the other side. And then right here, we're finishing up the last two. And after that, test it, get the bags in place, and we're set. Now, this build's been taking a while because a lot of reasons, weather, time. No time going on my day. Yeah, no, you know what I'm saying? It's just a whole bunch of things going on at one time. And then my pops is getting older. He's the one helping me out with this build. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's a lengthy process. That and parts, you know what I mean? So next time I know for sure I am buying, cause I had used parts as y'all know, but I'm not gonna do that no more. I'm gonna buy everything new so I don't have the issues that I, I came across this time. So we should be good to go after we get these hoses in and you guys will see right now. See how fast it brings the front up? And then my friends means we're done with the airbag build on the car. So I'll get back to y'all in a minute. Let me get this ride home.